Good morning, I'm Corey Duke and I'm Justin Fish here. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. Early this morning, officers were sent to a shooting near East Apache and Yale. Officers then found a 17 year old boy inside the residence with gunshot wounds. Officers say there were numerous shell casings at least two different firearms found outside. The police, though, are still investigating exactly what happened. And the Tulsa Health Department says new cases for Tulsa County are nearly double the previous surges. And take a look here. This is the zip code map from the Tulsa Health Department. Every section of this map, it's red. We've seen this before, but the County Health Department says it has, quote, run out of shades of red to express the gravity of the spread of COVID. As it stands, dark red is extreme severe risk. The department has added extreme severe risk two and extreme severe risk three to the zip code map. Not a Catusa, where police have a man in custody, they say, is responsible for planting what appeared to be a pipe bomb in a bag outside the casino Tuesday night. The Tulsa Police Department's bomb squad was able to remove it, destroy it. Police say they identified 32-year-old Zachary Schmidt as the suspect. They actually found him inside the casino and arrested him early Wednesday morning. Federal investigators are now handling that case. All right, let's get a check of that warm forecast with meteorologist Annie Brown. Yeah, and seasonably warm. This will be the third day that temperatures will be in those 60s, 65 for that daytime high. North winds will be in play. We'll also keep those temperatures uh, very much above average, which is 48 for this time of the year. 64 up to Bartlesville, 61 over in Grove this evening. If you have any plans, yeah, maybe outdoors. Hard to believe I'm saying that here for January, but these temperatures remaining very nice up until we look ahead towards our weekend. Tomorrow we'll get into those 50s. 30s, though, by Saturday, we'd have a rain-snow transition likely on Saturday. Corey and Justin. All right, thank you so much. Annie Brown, let's look at some stories making headlines today. Stick with 2 News Oklahoma for updates all throughout the day.